with us from the Better Business Bureau. How are you doing today, Whitney? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing fine, doing fine. And something to mention, of course, um, is that uh, this is our finale with Whitney as uh, she moves onwards and uh, upwards and onto uh, other things. And uh, we're certainly glad to have her here to talk about a very trendy, very <laughs> important subject, very trendy subject, certainly, as, as no doubt everybody has been hearing in the news about AI. Um, and of course, anywhere there's a new tool, it almost seems like impossible that it's not going to get a bad actor that is going to be going to be after it, trying to use it uh, for uh, bad purposes. And so as, as we look at this, um, at the situation with phishing, what do we see as far as uh, how people might be using it for phishing? So AI programs such as ChatGPT may be changing the way that fraudsters commit scams. So uh, we have put out a warning to consumers to be on the lookout for any red flags for any unsolicited messages that they receive um, because generative AI programs can be used to create new content like audio, code, text, or images. Um, they're already commonly used for entertainment and business alike, but some research organizations predict that they're going to be used for more of a dubious purpose. So that would be scams. Um, fraudsters can use generative AI programs to create natural sounding phishing messages with greater efficiency, making it harder for some consumers to spot a scam. So being aware of how scammers may use AI can help consumers do their due diligence um, and protect themselves. The good news is that many of the best practices for verifying online information and vetting unsolicited uh, messages that we talk about every week, these still apply. So a couple tips that we have um, and this one we talk about a lot, don't believe everything that you see online. This is a classic rule of thumb for avoiding scams. Um, it becomes ever more important in the age of AI. Make sure that you use a healthy amount of skepticism. If someone contacts you and you haven't, um, you don't know who they are or anything, make sure that you verify their identity. And if you can't ver verify their identity, then get off the phone as soon as you can. Um, Scrutinized wording. So generative AI has advanced to the point where it creates compelling messages, um, but it's not infallible. So odd phrasing or incorrect information may still be a sign that there's something not right. And we talk about that a lot whenever we're talking about phishing scams, uh, because typically these um, are coming in and they are not using correct English. Um, so that's always been a red flag for uh, consumers is to make sure that um, whoever you are speaking with, make sure that the English is correct, um, that there's no odd phrasing or any incorrect information, um, things like that are going to be a red flag for you. Um, we talk about this one a lot as well. Don't click on any links or attachments. When you do that, what happens is um, you could download potentially um, a virus onto your computer, malware onto your computer, things like that, which will open you up to identity theft. Um, also, it could take you to a phishing website where it will um, provoke you to give out more of your personal information. Um, check and double check. Even if a website looks real, check the address at the top of your web browser to make sure that you are on the correct site. It is especially important to double check before submitting sensitive personal information or financial information to any website. Know all the common phishing tactics, unsolicited emails and texts that promise great deals or urge you to act on something immediately should be taken with a grain of salt. Make sure that you read our guidelines on spotting phony emails and text messages. We have that available for you at bbb.org um, as well as more common red flags. Uh, when in doubt, get a second opinion. So BBB's 2022 Scam Tracker Risk Report found that nearly um, three-fourths of people who avoided losing money in a scam had a gut feeling that something wasn't 
right? So they checked. They asked somebody else. Um, if you receive a phone call or a message that doesn't seem right, ask a friend or a loved one for a second opinion or check BBB.org for that. And then if you are a victim of a scam, especially with AI or anything else, make sure that you report those incidents. So you can go to BBB.org slash scam tracker to report um, to help protect consumers like yourself. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, very good tips there. And certainly in, in today's world, as far as uh, making sure that things look real, seem real, um, certainly when it comes to uh, the interesting grammar choices that uh, the average person may have as far as, as texting goes, you, there, there's still a fine line between that and the random capitalizations that often seem, at least in my yes. experience, to accompany a, a, a phishing people. Um, so yeah, as, as we look at it, anything else to mention today uh, about phishing? Anything else of, of interest before we go? So just basically any time that you are dealing with um, anything phishing, it's going to ask you personal information. So if you start to get questions, personal identifiable information or questions about bank account information or anything like that, that should really raise a red flag for you um, if you are not specifically on a website to talk about that kind of information. So just stay alert, uh, make good decisions, and if it doesn't sound right, it probably isn't. So check with somebody else and check on our website at bbb.org. All right. Whitney Quick with the Better Business Bureau. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate your time. Thank you. And, of course, thank you uh, for everything uh, leading up to now. It's part of our segment. We appreciate you keeping us uh, safe and in the know with every everything that's going on out there. <laughs> Thanks. All right. To our audience as well, appreciate you all being here with us um, and keeping yourself safe and as well. And so certainly if, uh, if you run into anything like this, head on over to the BBB's website and uh, you can uh, report it there. We're going to turn it back over to Local News Live. Don't forget to stick around here on the KFES Digital Channel. You can watch all of our evening news coming up at 4 o'clock with Heartline News Now. Thanks again, everybody.